I wanted to know if the newly released GPT-5 was smart, beyond its expectations. So I gave it problems I've seen real humans fail at, and it didn't even blink. And that's when I realized something. This is different. I'm not here to fanboy over AI. I've used GPT-4, Claude, Gemini. They all had limits. Today, I'm going to find GPT-5s by giving it five brutal challenges. Complex reasoning, live image analysis, full app build, memory stress test, multimodal chaos. And I want you to be brutally honest in the comments. If you think it's cheating, say it. If you think I'm overreacting, say it. Let's just see how far this rabbit hole goes. First up, a reasoning problem that trips up even some of the smartest people and even professors get it wrong. The kind of puzzle that exposes if you're just guessing or actually thinking. A bat and a ball cost $1.10. The bat costs $1 more than the ball. How much does the ball cost? That's unsettling. Not because it got it right, but because it explained why in a way I've never seen an AI do before. If this is the baseline, we're in trouble. Thinking is one thing, seeing is another. I gave GPT-5 an image and asked it to pick out the tiniest, most irrelevant detail, something even I didn't notice the first time I saw it. It didn't just describe the scene, it read it, which is great for finding Waldo. But imagine that same power aimed at your security cameras Tell me in the comments, would you trust it with that? Okay, next, I gave GPT-5 a coding request that usually takes a junior developer an afternoon, a working stopwatch web app. Two minutes later, it was running. It even added a reset button without me asking, which is amazing, unless your job is writing basic code. In that case, I'd be updating my resume. Next, I wanted to see if it could remember me. I asked it about something I'd mentioned hours ago in a completely different chat. GPT-4 would have forgotten. GPT-5? I asked it what my favorite quick food restaurant was, and yeah, it remembered. And it used that to give me a better answer. This is the difference between a tool and something that feels like it's watching your life. Now, for a ridiculous combo test. I gave GPT-5 an image of a city skyline, told it to write a short cyberpunk story about it, translate that story to Japanese, and then narrate it back in an AI voice, and the results was honestly cinematic. It didn't just translate, it adjusted tone for Japanese storytelling styles. That's not just language, that's culture. But let's be real, GPT-5 isn't some all-knowing god. So here's the challenge it couldn't pass. Guess my password using only my birth year and my favorite quick food restaurant. It failed completely, which is actually a relief. This is the line I don't want AI crossing anytime soon. Here's my takeaway. GPT-5 isn't replacing everyone tomorrow, but the people who learn to use it well, they're about to replace the ones who don't. I've seen enough to know. This is no longer a chatbot. It's becoming an everything bot. So unless you're looking to get replaced, I suggest it's better to work hand in hand with AI. In that way, making it your personal assistant when stuck in some complex suitations. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.